During World War II, the U.S. Signal Corps produced hundreds of documentaries, training films, and newsreels for the War Department. Among these are approximately 200 film bulletins, created to inform officers and enlisted men about military developments during the war. Next on Real America, from 1945, Evacuation of Civilians, a 14-minute bulletin detailing the procedure for moving refugees and displaced persons out of harm's way by relocating them to temporary housing until it's safe for them to return home. No school today, it says. No, no school today or tomorrow or next week or next month or for a long time to come. No school in France or Holland, Belgium or Italy, Germany or Burma, China or the Philippines. And no food or water or medicine or clothing. No place to get warm and no place to sleep. For these are refugees, everywhere a byproduct of war and a problem for Allied armies. As uncontrolled civilians, they inevitably interfere with our military operations. Therefore, it is an imperative necessity that they be controlled. And it's the job of the military police to see that this control is maintained. In some countries, in some cases, the refugees will have to be confined to the area of their homes. Others may have to be evacuated to the rear. In any case, their control will be under the supervision of the theater commander. Full use of local agencies is made whenever possible in cooperation with the military police. As unidentified individuals, some of these refugees may be criminals, hostile sympathizers, or enemy agents by spreading rumors, misleading information, or false orders, they can create panic and cause whole peoples to flee blindly into the streets and the open roads, even before their homes have been touched, thus making themselves a perfect target for the enemy. Just as it happened here over France, so it happened over China. There, because of bombs and rumors of bombs, people took to their streets and open roads. They too became homeless wanderers and created a hazard to military operations by blocking the movement of troops and supplies it's the same in every case, in every country. No matter where they're going or where they are, refugees are actually an uncontrolled crowd. They are ever a potential mob, a possible threat to law and order, and to the security of our troops and equipment in the area. Refugees without discipline endanger their own health, and also the health of our troops. Made desperate by hunger, they follow the garbage trucks and try to salvage any scraps of food that might cling to a discarded can. Their bombed out towns mean disrupted water supplies, broken sewer disposal systems, inadequate shelter. These in turn mean more exposure and more sickness. So for both military and humanitarian reasons, we must act quickly and decisively 